my top tips to safely open a wax sealed beer bottle. So we're in the winter months and we're coming up to the festive season. So you may start to see imperial stouts and special beers that are coated in wax over the top of the crown cap. I've seen lots of posts on Facebook groups and beer forums where people have had trouble getting into this type of bottle. Um, some very dangerous practices using serrated blades and um, trying to melt it off, various different unsafe practices. When you're trying to get into a wax bottle, it can be quite difficult. So I have found out the best way to open a wax seal bottle safely. I'm going to share that with you today and I'm also going to talk about why brewers seal their beers with wax anyway. Let's get started. So on our beer bottles it's usually on an imperial stout or a barley wine that you will see these interesting and kind of cool looking waxed seals. They can be in lots of different colours. This one matches the beer label art. Um, this one has purple coloured wax and is quite neatly dipped at the top. You can get quite thick wax on your wax sealed beer bottles uh, and you can even get gold and silver and sometimes the brewers will stamp their logo into the top like a seal. Um, I've even seen wax sealed cans. Now why do brewers do this? Usually a beer that is waxed is going to be something with a higher ABV or possibly a Belgian beer. The type of beers that you are going to want to store and age. They need to be of a higher ABV, usually a maltier beer so that they can develop interesting flavours over time or possibly lambics or wild beers that also develop different flavours over time. This is going to be used on beers that are going to age for five years plus. Things like imperial stouts and barley wines can last for five, ten or twenty years. Usually beers are sealed with a crown cap if not a cage and cork. Inside your usual crown cap there is a rubber seal that keeps the air out. In some beers that are to age and last longer they'll have this additional plastic seal in the middle that will help to keep more air out. However over time the metal of the crown cap can be subjected to moisture and can start to rust. By adding a wax seal the brewer is stopping that moisture and air from getting to the metal of the crown cap and therefore it can last longer. Now this is really only useful for beers that are going to be aged for five years plus. A lot of beers that you're going to find with a wax seal will have a shorter best before date than that on them. So really it's added by brewers to make it look cool. But it does make it difficult for us beer drinkers to be able to get into it. So how do we get into these lovely beers? When you're trying to get into a wax sealed beer, please don't use a serrated knife. This can be quite dangerous and you could cut yourself. Also, please don't try to melt the wax because the heat might upset the beer. You want it at a nice drinking temperature. The tools that I use to get into a wax sealed bottle. You're gonna need a blunt butter knife. This is gonna keep you nice and safe because you're not gonna be able to um, accidentally cut yourself. You also need a bottle opener. Now I like these ones that have the longer handle and I've got quite a sharp blade in the middle here rather than your shorter ones that can be kind of on a badge back or are quite short. This is going to give you good leverage to break the wax on the top. Now this bottle I've got here, the wax is quite light around the crown cap. So with those you might be able to get your sharp part of your bottle opener up underneath the crown cap and just wrench it off. But a more simple way is this technique that I use. Take your butter knife 
and you're going to cut a smiley face. So you are going to go underneath the crown cap as close as you can and press into the wax to cut into it. You're then going to cut a crescent from one end of your cup to the other. So, a bit like a smiley face. This will create a notch. So once you've got your shape like this, so you've cut under the crown cap there and cut a crescent, you're then gonna peel that out with the end of the knife, like so. This gives you access to the crown cap and you should be able to get your bottle opener underneath. If you struggle to get your bottle, uh, bottle opener underneath that lip, you can cut a little bit more out to be able to lever it off. You're then going to put your bottle opener underneath the crown cap and lever off. Sometimes you might also need to make a little bit of a divot in the top of the wax on top of the crown cap so that you can really get good purchase with your bottle opener. All right, let's see how we do. So you can get your bottle opener underneath the teeth of the crown cap and you're just going to lever it off. Because you're going to try and break the wax. There we go. And then you can leave it slightly attached so it looks cool in your beer photos. So that's the simplest way and the safest way of opening your wax sealed beer bottle. Let me know if you have got any wax seal beer bottles that you are saving for a special occasion or have you ever had a wax sealed can and how did you open that? Head on over to Instagram and let me know. And for more beer related tips, make sure you're following Love Beer Learning.